Guesswork isn't always a bad thing. We collect relevant information all the time from sources, experiences, and information to arrive at, say, the best birthday gift for someone or the most insight regarding a particular topic. In the absence of clear and concrete answers, federal courts are no different when trying to answer unsettled questions of state law. The 2003 case of Weber v. Saba examines one such scenario. David Weber and Brandy Saba used to date. One evening in August of 1997, Weber and a friend stopped at a convenience store in Salem, Arkansas, after they had been driving around, drinking cases of beer and wine coolers. At the store, they ran into Saba, who then joined them driving around while drinking. After a stop in Viola, Saba was to drive the trio back to Salem. According to Saba, while she was driving, Weber tried to kiss and touch her. She tried to push him off her when the car veered off the road and hit a bridge abutment. Weber denied making advances at Saba while she was driving, and all three vehicle occupants suffered serious injuries. Weber sued Saba in district court for negligence and sought to recover damages for the injuries he sustained. Saba pleaded comparative fault and joint enterprise defenses. Weber moved for partial summary judgment to dismiss the joint enterprise defense, claiming it wasn't allowed in the negligence action. The court denied his motion and provided the jury with instructions that it should return a verdict in favor of Saba if it found that the parties were engaged in a joint enterprise. The court also instructed the jury on comparative fault, stating it should deliver a verdict for Saba if it determined that Weber's negligence was the same or greater than Saba's. The jury found for Saba, and Weber appealed to the Eighth Circuit, contending that the district court erred when it instructed the jury on the joint enterprise defense.